What's up, Anfanex? Tech Fnatic 90 from Ultimate Jordan Blockspot.com. We made a Galaxy S3 and be showing you how to do any Galaxy S3. So that this will work for AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, Sprint, Canadian, all Canadian versions, and the international version i9-300. So this will work for any Galaxy S3 possible in the world. So this is the ultimate guide for you Galaxy S2 to root it. So first thing we're going to be doing is transferring superuser.zip file to, onto our phone. So make sure you plug in your phone via micro USB and then we're going to head down to our computer. Also make sure that you have, it's uh, connected as a media device. As you can see, you have two options, media device and camera. Make sure it's connected as a media device so your computer does detect it. So once you get that all set, head out to our computer and we're going to be transferring a file to our uh, phone. Okay, that should pop up when, once you plug in your phone to your computer. So just select open device to view files. And then you can select card if you have a micro, US, uh, micro SD card on your phone. Or you can select phone. Since mine is full on my card, I'm just going to select it on the phone. It doesn't matter. And you're going to be transferring this uh, super user file. So you transfer that super user file onto your phone. Uh, as always, I have all files mentioned in this in the description below. So download all the files that you need, all the files will be uh, mentioned in the description below. So just transfer that file onto your uh, phone. So, it's going to drag and drop it. So just drag it and onto your phone or card. And I'll copy and replace it because I already had one before. Okay, once you got that complete, we're going to enter our phone into download mode. So you can just unplug it and we're going to enter our phone into download mode. Okay, next, make sure you unplug your phone once you transfer that uh, super user zip file. Make sure you don't unzip it, just transfer it directly into your phone. Next, power off your phone. Give it a goodbye and it'll come rebooted, rooted. Okay, now press the volume down, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume down and home center button. All three. Let go of the power when you feel a vibration. You'll be on this screen. Now press the volume up to continue. You'll now have downloading, and now plug your phone back into your computer, and we'll be doing most of the rest of the process on our computer. Just plug it in and we're going to go back to our computer. Okay, make sure your phone is still plugged in and says download it. And make sure it's plugged into your computer. And on my computer screen, as you can see, I have two files. Odin and Galaxy S3 Recovery. I'm just going to open up Galaxy S3 Recovery and show you what's in there. So as you can see, there are uh, some files. There's This one's for AT&T. This one's Canadian. This one's for the i9-300 International, this one's for Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Verizon. So you're going to be downloading one of those tower files for your specific device. Make sure you download the correct one, don't download the wrong one or something bad might happen. Make sure you download the correct one for your device. So it's going to be a tower file. As always, I have a link in the description below for that one as well. So mine is T-Mobile, so I'm going to be sucking that one. So I can just put that down. And my Odin folder, I have Odin right here. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to open up Odin, the program. So on Odin right here, as you can see, I have a yellow bar. Make sure you have a yellow bar. If you don't have a yellow bar, make sure you have Samsung keys installed. I will also have a link in the description below for the program so you can download and install it on your Windows computer. That will only, um, if that still doesn't come up or anything, just try a different computer and try a different USB port on the computer that you're using right now. So right here, we're going to click on PDA. And we're going to look at the tar file that you downloaded earlier. So mine was in desktop. Then it was in Galaxy uh, Recovery. And I'm going to be selecting that T-Mobile one. Yours might be different because you're going to be using a different phone. So make sure that's in PDA. And uncheck mark auto reboot. Uncheck mark that and don't touch anything else here. Make sure nothing is check marked there. Once that is all set, you got a yellow bar, nothing is checked marked here, and you got PDA tar file selected. Click start, and it's going to be installing Clockwork Mod Recovery onto your uh, phone. So it'll give you the green pass, and that means it passed. If it, if it fails, then just restart your computer, try a different USB port, and if that still doesn't work, just try a different computer. That is the fastest method. If you can't get your hands on a different computer, um, just contact me and I'll help you out. 
So it says pass, took 0.9 seconds. Now we're gonna unplug our phone and we're gonna be doing the rest of the process on our phone. Just unplug it and let's head on down to our phone. Okay, next we're just gonna uh, take out the ba back battery cover and the battery. So let's take it out, put it back in now, and we're gonna enter into clockwork mode recovery mode right away. So don't press the power button just yet. Press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding onto the volume up and home center button. So all three. Vibration, let go of the power. And wait until you enter into clockwork mode recovery. Okay, you'll be on this screen. Zoom in, get a better look at it. And now we're going to go to install Zephyr SD card. Choose Zephyr SD card, so the very first one. And then find that SU file that you transferred earlier. So as you can see, mine is right there. Super user zip file that you transferred the first time. And select it. And now it's going to be installing it. As you can see, it says complete at the bottom. Now we're going to go back. And then reboot system now. Once your phone finishes rebooting, you will your phone will be now rebooted into your phone will be rooted. So I'm gonna let reboot and then we'll test it out using titanium backup. Okay, let's try titanium backup and we should get super user permission. So let's go to titanium backup. Where is it? Alright, let me go download Titanium Backup and I'll be right back. Okay, we got Titanium Backup downloaded. Let's open it up and see if we get a super user access or a group a grant. So, as you can see, it's asking for a super user request and you got five seconds to grant it. I'm going to grant it. And now you can uh, use rooted apps like Titanium Backup, um, Add Away, um, all those good apps. I can't, uh, and a lot more. And you can also install custom ROMs, themes, uh, mods, and all that using Clockwork Mod Recovery as well. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Hit that subscribe button if you do, uh, if you're an Android fanatic like me, you like Android tutorials on Galaxy S3, T989, Nexus, um, the list keeps going on, I got a lot of devices for tutorials, great channel to, uh, to watch for Android, so subscribe if you already haven't, and give this video a big old thumbs up if you found a vid the video helpful. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, and if you need some <clears throat> support on this or any other Android device, you can tag me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and email. All links are in the description below. I'll see ya. Yeah.